Today we become pro animators all within a few minutes by creating these beautiful animations using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. This is very easy to do, so let's get started. Before we can animate anything in After Effects, your first step is to get your hands on an illustrated graphic. You can find scenes like this for free on my favorite site, freepix.com. But once you have your vector graphic, whether it's a stock scene or given to you by a designer, open the AI or EPS file in that beautiful orange logo software called Adobe Illustrator. The only thing we need to do here is properly layer our graphics so we can make the animation easy in After Effects. So if you don't know Illustrator, we're just layering. We'll go through the groups here in our layers panel to get a feel for the project. You'll be able to quickly see how everything's organized by turning on and off the layers. So first, what we want to do is create a few layers by clicking the new layer icon and then put objects into those layers that we want to animate in After Effects. For example, if you want to animate a sun or in my case, a moon, I can click that object and select it. Then open the group and we can see it's highlighted here because of the color box. I can then move that path or group into one of my new layers. And now that this is isolated and in its own layer, I'll be able to easily animate it in After Effects. And driving the example even further, you'll probably want to animate clouds, so be sure to put those in their own layers as well. The best things to typically animate are trees, clouds, buildings, the sun or the moon, stars, and anything that could potentially have movement like your character, for example. So driving the point more, I'll be putting these trees into their own layer. And for me, it's okay that the land is attached to the trees if you come across something like that. And I'll show you why later. So for example, as I move these trees into their own layer, I have to make sure that the land is also moved with those trees because it could mess up my entire project. So just for now, just get the layering correct. And when it comes to layering, pretty much every scene that you can have is the same. Same. you know for this other scene that I have here the layering follows the same routine okay moving ahead I have everything separated the last thing we need to do is change the resolution of this artboard go to the artboards panel and click the artboard here change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and then just select everything by hitting Control a or command a and resize it all when you're done save your project as an illustrator file and move on to After Effects okay with After Effects open import your illustrator file and import it as a composition. Then open that main composition, and now we have all of our Illustrator work here in After Effects and ready for us to animate. So real fast, I can select my moon layer and animate its position to rise up in the night sky. And look at that, so easy. With the stars layer, I can animate its rotation and then it will rotate in the night sky. It's very possible that most of your objects can be animated with basic transform controls. However, if you're unable to completely separate your objects or need to create custom animation, this is where the puppet pin tool becomes handy. So for example, I'll double click my tree layer and start adding pins to the bottom of my trees and the land attached to it. Then I'll hit U on my keyboard to bring up all the keyframes and I'll delete them. Now I'll add points to the top of the trees like this. I will use these points to animate them. So I'll shift click the top points to select them all at once. Then I'll drag these trees to the left by a touch, move forward in my timeline and move the trees to the right. Lastly, if you want your animation to be ongoing, I'll click the stopwatch and type time, loop out, ping pong. Then copy and paste this expression to all your other pinned animations. Now our trees will sway in the hypothetical wind in our scene. The puppet pin tool is so handy that I can use this to animate birds in this other scene that I have, and I can also animate bigger objects with this technique as well. When you have all your basic objects animated, there's still a few more animations you can apply to your scene to take it to the next level. One of these ideas to consider is animating the lighting of your scene. For example, I'll create an adjustment layer and add the brightness and contrast effect. Since this specific scene is at the early stages of night, I'll animate the brightness from zero to a negative value to make it darker. This will help sell the time-lapse animation of the scene. Another thing that you can do is add camera animation. One simple way to do this is by creating a null object and then parenting all your objects to that null. Then animate the scale of the null to zoom in or out of your scene. This will give beautiful movement that will help draw in attention. The last thing I suggest you take a look at is to apply the noise effect and set it to a range of one to about 5%. This way your scene will not be static and there will be movement among your pixels. This is just my personal touch, so do what you want. But hopefully these techniques will help you get started in producing great animations in After Effects. And be sure to get your hands on our 100 free templates and this extension panel. You can save time and produce exciting projects in seconds with our 20,000 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Be sure to check our links below.